Last episode didn't go nearly as well as I originally hoped it would, but you know what they say, the show must go on despite all of the negatives, even if there is an insurmountable number of them already. So leaving off from yesterday, I'm just seeing a bunch of sparkly things and I'm just scared about all of it. Well, there's good news and bad news, I don't have to be scared, but I also can't go past it. And last episode ended with a very anti-climatic fight, so I'm just praying that everything to this point is just gonna mimic that. Because yes, that's bad content, but that also means I can win easier, which I think is a good trade-off. I fucked up the combo. Luckily, it looks like that's not gonna matter, but I'm still disappointed in that nonetheless. Oh my god, uh... Everything's going wrong already. I just started the match and I instantly lost a quarter of my health by getting crushed by ice. Also, fun thing, I'm doing no damage, so, uh, uh, we might lose Scorpion. That's a likely possibility. Oh my god, especially if we get stuck mid-animation. Uh, we're staying away from that. Okay, thank you, Block of Ice. Uh, live by the ice, die by the ice. It helped us, it hurt us, so we'll call it even. Oh, oh, I just... Accidentally skip past that. What? Wait, what is this? Why did it allow me to skip past this? Well, she's dead now, so there's no reason to question it anymore. Let's just move on. Oh god, not again. And right now, I feel like picking Omni-Man and Movado, you know, for no conspicuous reason at all. Alright, we're just gonna go all the way up here. It's... It was easy, but god, that was stressful. Okay, there's a... There's... I didn't read the modifier, but apparently there's gonna be a fire on the floor at some points in the match. Luckily it doesn't look like it's that bad, but uh, I, I still think I should be just a little cautious about that now. Okay, that's, that works well with me. Oh god, so it looks like we have a Kung Lao to worry about here. It, is this the final boss already? Okay, I think this is the section's boss fight. Oh, uh, I was not ready for this, I'll be real. What the fuck? I- that's literally unfair, what am I- wait, oh my god. Wait, what am I even supposed to do about this? Uh, go get a Movado, do something. Oh god, why didn't you do anything? Alright, we're just gonna hit him with the Fatal Blow, please die. Oh god, there's- there's a phase two, isn't there? Oh, we're ready for it. Oh, oh, we have full health, we actually are ready for it, never mind. Okay, I understand the hats now. Wait, okay, no I don't actually. Oh, I really don't understand it at all. See, I thought they were bouncing around in the background, and I was right, at least I thought so, but then I get one that's just coming on the ground out of nowhere when it didn't come on the ground in the background. Uh, I just, I'm confused by this boss fight. Please end it. Die. Fuck. There's three, there's three? Okay, fine, fine, fine. Well, we can have our three modes. That... Oh god, why is it purple? <gasps> oh fuck, I didn't move a dime, fuck! What? Oh wait, can you not- I don't even know how to, what to do about this. Why couldn't I jump that one time? It, what is he doing now? Okay, I think he's done with his tomfoolery mode. But now we have the un- Never mind, he's- He's unstoppable. What do I do? How do I stop this? So guys, spoiler alert, Omni-Man dies. <laughs> yep, yep, he's he's like really dead after that one. Thank you, Omni-Man and Movado. You guys served us well, but unfortunately, we have to move on now. I think I'm gonna do Baraka. I know how to play Baraka, kind of. So maybe I know him just enough to get a win with this one. And I don't know what cameo works well with him, so we're just gonna use Montaro. And now the fire twister just sucks us up yet again. It's very climatic, I'll give it that. It's very cinematic. It does make me feel like I'm about to go to hell. And I feel like that's what it kind of wants to do. What the fuck? Okay, well, I was doing great avoiding the hats, and then they all just hit me with a, a big switcheroo there, and that big mix-up was enough to get rid of me. There's no way, there's no way I lose Baraka in first round after I got Omni-Man to third round. Like, some things just aren't meant to happen. That is definitely one of them. Okay, uh, just spamming uppercut works. I think I'll note that one for later. What the- oh, okay. So, it, is it reversing from what's in the background? Uh, uh... I'm just gonna sit here and block. It's not worth it. I will say, we're doing really good right now. Our health looks bad, but if you think about the fact that we just took all of those hat damage 
and most of it being chip, we haven't gotten hit much. And I'm gonna say Fatal Blow this time because I feel like we will need it for this final round. But uh, so far, we're doing great. I, I couldn't be happier about this performance. I will try and avoid the hats where I can, but if I'm, uh, if I don't exactly know what's happening with the hats, like like right now, there's too much chaos for me to like confidently do it. So I just sat, sat in the corner and took my 50 damage. All right, he's gonna do his little twister. That's fine. You can have your little temper tantrum over there, Kung Lao. I'm just gonna kind of sit in my corner blocking. All right, you're done now. Thank you. Now please get hit by this. All right, that wasn't enough, but we're so close. Yes, we did it. We did it, guys. We did it. The challenge lives on. The run keeps going. Oh my god, look at all the ranks I got for that. And a nice skin, but like, I went from 1 to 4 real quick after that one. And now, let's go through this portal to new worlds, new realms, new lands, whatever word you want to use, whatever synonym we need. Let's just fig- okay, it's a desert. I will say since every single season seems to reuse the exact same locations, how anticlimactic must it feel if you like consistently defeat all the invasions mode areas? Like I feel like that's just gotta not be fun for you at some point. And collectors got a little key for us here. Our inventory's full. What can we get rid of? Okay, we got some stuff that just permanently gives us things. So I don't know why I haven't used them already. Well, I know why. It's because I'm not very uh, observant. But now that I have observed them and I've used all of them, oh well, fuck. Now that I have observed and used all of my items and not ran to a stage beforehand, I'm gonna buy as many keys from collectors as I physically can. And now we're off to our first fight in this new realm. So far, it, it's looking pretty good. I think our chances are well. Well, we're almost at full health. I don't think we could have had much better of a vote of confidence for that. Do you know what? I'm feeling frisky. Let's go in the direction of the tower. What the fuck? I'm just getting projectile spammed right now. Like, I, this this feels like a Undertale or something. Like, this is... A lot was happening to me, but surprisingly, I barely lost any health. So at the end of the day, I'm just complaining to complain. There's no real danger. And I'm sorry if I made you think there was for a second. And here we go, into the tower. We only have one thing we're really scared of. That thing, the test your might. But let's just not focus on that for now. Oh god, the whole screen went dark. Okay, so the whole screen went dark, which, which you know, presents a little factor of intimidation. But as soon as anybody gets hit, it seems the darkness just instantly fades. So th really, what's the point of it being there, honestly? And I say what's the point, because at least at this point in the game, none of the CPUs will hit you with a combo once they hit you. Like, they'll hit you with, like, maybe, like, a couple hit combo, but nothing major in the slightest. So the darkness is literally, like, a non-factor at this point in the run. <sighs> now for the really scary part. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. How far is it? Okay, we got it! We got it! We're masters at this now. I made so many unnecessary risks by participating in this challenge to begin with. And I put probably our most important fighter on the line so far, besides Liu Kang. So, please, Tower, give me a decent reward for all this. Oh, so those items were literally just my Tower rewards. Okay, I, I literally just got scammed. Great, great, great. I'm looking over there and I'm seeing a chest. There's a lot of fights, but we're doing great. Let's just keep the momentum going and let's not think about the heroic fact that we could kill a Baraka at any second. Oh God, I did not read what this challenge was, but it is not a regular fight. It's some type of time trial. Why do I have Megan Fox? Luckily, we have not killed Natara. But since we are automatically being given Natara, if we lose this, we can no longer use her, and we just can't get this chest. So, let's just pray that we do this fine. Alright, it looks simple enough, so let's just go, let's just go, let's just get this over with. Fuck! Oh, okay, okay, I see now. Fuck! Oh no! Oh wow, we we're losing her. Oh my god. Oh! Oh god, the checkpoint doesn't count. Wait, what? How do I even get through those three saws? <laughs> That's... That just sucks. That just sucks. 
Oh, we were so close to the chest. It was just behind that rock, dude. Fuck. And since Motaro was a character I had as a cameo beforehand, I'm gonna get rid of him as well. He is also dead. Granted, I wasn't able to use him at all during the fight, but it's a cameo fighter, so who really cares if they die anyways? So let's be real. <laughs> Come on, can you even name a more iconic duo than these two? That, that was a rhetorical question. Please, for the love of God, don't answer that. So I've managed to find another chest here, and I'm just praying that I don't have something that stops me from going to get it, like, right beforehand. Like, last time. Alright, we're gonna use one of these keys we just got. Now, please make it worthwhile. Do you know what? As long as this is just permanent, that's a good get for me. And this is just insulting. Like, I'll take the Liu Kang palette since I like playing Liu Kang. But come on, do you really have to give this to me during this run? And it looks like we leveled up yet again, and we will take anything we can get at this point. Because... Theoretically, since we're getting a lot farther, the challenges should be increasing in intensity. So far, we haven't reached that little threshold where things are getting hard, but uh, I'm anticipating it, and I'm not going to take this moment for granted. But in the meantime, but in the meantime, let's just see what we got in this chest here. We got a talisman here. We'll see if we can equip this this time. And we got a new Kenshi skin, and I'm not really a big fan of how Kenshi plays, but I'm not mad about this per se and yet another lock chest i mean i thought i was gonna have to go back to the previous zone to use all the different keys i had and well now i kind of wish i did because i hate raiden whether i like raiden or not though we have finally gotten rid of all the keys which means that we just have to find a new collector so we can purchase more yet again and now i'm just left to oh and it looks like that was all there was there i that feels like a pointless match though. You'd, I feel like there'd be like some type of reward for going there otherwise, but uh, so it is not, I assume, I suppose, whatever the word is. I guess we'll just backtrack then. And here we have a Baraka Ditto, which I think could be really scary, especially with all this electricity running around. I, I feel like this could really be the match of our lifetime and, well, he fucked up the joke by running away. Just. And he's already dead! Yeah! <laughs> that That's funny, right guys? Please laugh. Please. I, I have nothing else to give. So you remember that thing I said earlier about the difficulty surely increasing sooner than later because we're getting farther along in the maps? Uh, I'm still waiting for that to happen because this... This had three different people for me to fight and this was the easiest one yet. This is the easiest gauntlet I had to do so far in this challenge. So things are just looking up for me, I suppose. I'm looking at all my talismans now that I can finally use all of them, and I think Blood Brawler, where I can just heal a shit ton of damage, I feel like that is the only correct option here right now. Oh god, oh god. Uh, I did not read it. Oh god, I didn't read it. Oh fuck. Uh, please, please, please. <gasps> yes, yes! Baraka lives on! Baraka continues the journey! That's a genuine pop-up right there, like... I, I, I was trying to keep my voice down a little bit just because it's literally fucking 2.35 in the morning when I'm recording this. But oh my god, that's such a pop-off. That's so fucking hype. Brock lives yet another one. He cannot be killed. And it looks like yet again we've reached the bottom of another tower. But this time, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not using Barack again. Ah, eh, let's just use Kenji. We got a skin for him. We're not gonna use the skin, but he's on my mind now, so let's use him. So we just had two battles that were just not climatic at all. Last battle was literally a flawless victory. So now I'm just, to, I'm just here to bring us to what we're really waiting for. And now that I found out the strategy, this is just brain dead easy for me. See, the test here might think is a double-edged sword now, because on one hand, I mean, I'm not losing characters by timing it correctly and actually knowing how to do it properly. But on the other hand, it's making for a little worse content, a little less entertaining. Like, let's be real. I'm sure this episode's been fun. Oh, I accidentally did fatality, so give me a second. Like, let's be real. Even if this episode's doing really good right now, there's just this certain illustrious pool that just going in balls to the walls and losing your characters constantly has. Like, I feel like there's just some type of factor, some type of risk factor that just draws all of us as a society into those types of things. So right now I'm in a bit of a precarious situation. I kept on Kenshi for some reason. Okay, never mind, I'm fine. So I just completed this endurance round and right ahead we have what seems to be our next boss. And 
I've been using Kenshi just for a couple of these battles just because there's no real threat so I might as well not change the characters. But I think I gotta bring out the big guns here. I'm just worried to see what gimmick this general brings out. Until then, I'm fine. But as soon as he starts gimmicking me, then we have some problems. Okay, so right now, at least for me, it would seem that the gimmick is that neither of us take any fucking damage. This match is taking forever. And luckily, the time limit looks like it started at 500, so it's pretty much impossible to, to hit time on this one. One of us will die, it's just gonna be a very slow, painful, arduous process. So right now I'm doing my weekly analytics review on YouTube, just because it popped up while I was playing the game and I was curious. And for my weekly recap of May 20th through May 26th, apparently most of my viewers are from the United Kingdom. So hello UK viewers! Hopefully you guys are all doing well. Alright. Come on, dude, just just let it happen. You're gonna get killed by the boss. Oh my god, there's two rounds of this bullshit. Are you kidding me? Luckily for me, last round, I wasn't in too much danger of losing. I have no idea what that blood perk he has next to his health is now. But uh, I can only assume it's just gonna mean I'm gonna take forever to kill him still. But there's nothing- Oh my god, wait a minute, he's doing a lot of damage, what the fuck. So, in the first round, both of us were doing no damage to, to each other whatsoever with any hit. Alright, that's boring but fair. This time, I'm just getting- every time I get hit, I'm just getting absolutely mollywopped by this guy. And it is terrifying. I don't want to lose Baraka to such antics. I'm terrified, I'm scared, and I just- I, I just need to kill this general as soon as possible. For my own well-being. For my own mental- oh. Uppercuts apparently do a lot of damage. Okay. Again, why was I worrying? It was that anticlimactic, and also I have a talisman. Like, I was hyping that up as if there was something going on there, as if this was like some big end of the world thing. No, it was just another match at the end of the day. All right, a bunch of different talismans. That's cool, but I don't even use the one I have, even though it's very, very important for me right now. Let's just keep going. I was, I just want to hopefully finish the Tarkatan Colony in this episode. And since the mid-boss, or at least what I perceived to be the mid-boss, last episode was so close to the final boss, I'm just going to keep going for a bit and see what happens. Oh god. So we're going to go back to Kenshi right now, okay? And I could care less for the Chameleon cameo. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna toss Kenshi and Chameleon into this zone. And we're gonna try and get a gauge of how much damage we're gonna do. This thing's gonna kill us. Kenshi is dead. Okay, okay. We are safe for Sub-Zero. That's all we needed to figure out. Yes, Kenshi and Chameleon. They are now gone. But Kenshi and Chameleon also didn't do much for us. So... It's fine. It, this isn't really a sad loss. I'm playing the sad music in the editing, but this isn't that big of a deal. But I will tell you what is a big deal. For the first time in this run, we're gonna pull out Sub-Zero. And we're gonna use him to try and do our one combo that we know. Oh my god, wait a minute. I'm a genius here. I have put all of our stat points into attack. Meaning that, theoretically, this should help our combo so much more when it comes to destroying this droid. We should be good. All right, Sub-Zero. I'm bringing you out for the first time in the run because this is a dire situation here. I need you. I need you now more than ever. So Sub-Zero, don't disappoint me. Oh no. I fumbled. I... I forgot how to do the combo mid combo. <laughs> we just lost the most important character in this run before he could even help us. Uh, and that that paints an unfortunate picture, doesn't it? There's only one other character I know with any combo capabilities. So we're going to we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put all this into attack. Oh god. I Scorpion is the only other character I know how to do a decently long combo with. Which means that I just need to pray so fucking hard right now. Because if Scorpion dies, I think the run might be over. Right. Boom. 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 No! 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 What's with the Scarfers? What's with the Scarfers? Oh no! I forgot the combo again, I was supposed to spear. 
Okay. I'm gonna go in other paths. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna search around this area literally as much as I possibly can because oh my god that's I, I don't want to keep losing people like this man I just lost I lost this who should what the, oh no I don't have any other options I don't have any other options okay so it's ice that means that fire elementals will be stronger against it we've seen that with with Scorpion. But I don't know any Osher combos. Alright. Here's this. We're gonna choose Baraka. And we're gonna pray. We don't have much. We don't have much. But Baraka has been the savior of this run. And that means that he can do it for us. He can do it for us. Baraka, no! I can't. And when the world needed him most. You vanish. And with that, I don't even think I can beat the run. I I don't even think I can beat the run. I think it's actually over. Right now, I'm just going to keep exploring the land and pray that there's any other option. Because here's the deal. There's seven days left of this event. There's seven days left of this season. I don't have enough days to learn a combo with a new character. Sub-Zero was all we had to help us. Maybe Scorpion could have done it if I did the combo correctly. I don't know. All I do know is that if there is no other option in this path, if I can't find anything in this path, then we have lost this run. Oh, no! Our only other option, of course. Our only other option requires a character which has already been slain. So with this, all hope has left me. I have nothing. I have no answers. I have minimal options. I... I'm just speechless. I... I, w I worked hard. I thought that everything was going good. I was confused. I was like, where is the difficulty? I had nothing in me that could ever think that this is how it would end. So I will give it one more attempt with a character. I don't know any Shang Tsung combos, quite truthfully. But, if I lose this match, then I forfeit the run. Well, I thought that I at least get some type of combo out of it. And with that, let this be a reminder that not every story has a happy ending. Sometimes in life, no matter how hard you try, you'll just be faced with some type of obstacle that you just never could have been prepared for at any point. And that's what happened today. But with that said, who's to say that this is where the story has to end? Sure, the first run has been forfeited by now, but who's to say that there can't be an entirely new story coming from the ashes of this? So with that said, I will see you all in the next attempt of the Mortal Kombat 1 Nuzlocke next season. Upon further inspection, it would seem that I could have just walked right instead of sacrificing all of my important characters. And, sir, there's a time trial on the Tara 3, but I could have just walked down after that. And all of that agony just could have been spared so goddamn easily. Uh, uh...